So I was just told by Taylor to hold this picture of our baby girl. <laughs> Does she look like me? You're, no, she's holding her head like, oh my gosh. Oh my. Okay, now look to the right a little. No, the left. Your left. <laughs> Comment below. Does she look like me? You're being crazy. Y'all, okay, take it off. Okay, let me do it, let me do it. Which one does she look like? Oh, this is questionable. It looks like me? This is questionable now. now that Stop! I'm and it's not it, it's she. <laughs> Did I say it? Well, anyways, that's what I just walked into, Taylor. Guys, we're processing me having <laughs> surgery today. Taylor's about to have surgery. I'm actually kind of nervy. Kind of nervy. Kind of nervy. We don't know what's going to happen because, like, we don't know if Taylor's going to be on, like, loopy meds. To oh, where yeah. I'm confused whether, like, they're actually putting me to sleep and then Maybe, like, twilight sleep. Or, like, I'm going to be awake. Yeah. And sometimes he doesn't really react super much to the loopy meds after. Like, I think he might, he might be kind of silly. <laughs> he might not. We'll mm. see. Okay, so for you guys that didn't know, we're a little late on the ball because we were like in a hurry to get here. We had to drive an hour and a half. Had to drive an hour and a half. I didn't take any pain medicine, but I just had sinus surgery <laughs> without any pain medicine. You seem like I'm you're... a freaking beast. <laughs> so will not sit in my lap. <laughs> I don't know why not. I told her, I said, I want you to sit in my lap when the doctor comes in. You know how funny that would be? He'd be like, what the? <laughs> Is your Insta story still up? Can we read it to them, what you said on oh. it? Oh. <sighs> so Taylor said, he posted this on his Instagram story. He spoke a little too soon. He said, surgery over. I forgot to pick up the pain meds, pain meds. So did the whole thing with any pain meds. No, with any meds. Oh, with any meds. <laughs> So people definitely thought I took too many pain meds Taylor's, instead of not taking them. Taylor tried to tell him he had no meds, which you didn't have the sleepy meds. Yeah, I had a hand of hot, but I mean, that's not doing nothing for me. I kind of wish you would have taken the sleepy meds so you would have been all. Oh. So you would have been all. Oh, I thought it was like because you didn't want to be to be awake. <laughs> I was about to be like, okay, well, I'm not saying this. <laughs> Okay, so I had a balloon sinus dilation. And basically what that means is they take like a little wand that has a camera on it, you know, from Wizards of Waverly Place, that type of wand, and they stick it up your nose, and then it has a balloon on the end, like a little water balloon, and they go to open up your canals, like your nose canals, so that stuff can drain uh -huh. from now on. Because so, it wasn't draining before. Yeah, because it wasn't draining, so I'd get like sinus infections all the time, headaches. It made me a little cuter than I used to be, so we don't know how that'll affect like, my looks, but you know, it is what it is. How's that? Pretty decent? Good. I like to give it a week. <laughs> well, it just happened to be good. Two days. How about Wednesday? Oh, all right. Maybe four or five days. But I can walk on the treadmill. Well, I mean, you know, just just give it, just wait till Monday or Tuesday. Okay. See how you're doing. If you're feeling good, you're not having too much drainage, then just start working your way back. Okay. So I had balloon sinus dilation today. My doctor is? Dr. Wells. Dr. Wells in Columbia. Columbia Breathe Free is the place. So if you wanted to get it done, definitely come see him. He's the man. You did great today. Thank you. <laughs> All right, but for real, Dr. Wells is the man. He is so He's awesome. So he, nice. he made the process so easy. Seriously. But anyways, I'm like kind of hungry. Like, is there like a restriction on food? Cause this boy got to eat. Y'all, Taylor's doing 75 hard. If you didn't know, that's why he's in there asking so much about working out. Oh, I'm definitely. He can't miss a day, so. All right, I'll be, I'm, I'm at least gonna like bike or run on the treadmill. I mean, not run, walk on the treadmill. No, you're gonna just have to take like a nice neighborhood walk for like an hour and a half. Yeah. You, you really don't need to be doing all that crazy stuff, but I know you don't wanna miss a day. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. But anyways, let's go get some food. Let's get some food. So how long? Y'all, I feel terrible. So sad. So he he's allergic to something that's in the pain meds that they were gonna prescribe for him, and so he wasn't gonna take any, and um, he was just gonna have tal Tylenol. Y'all, he is, I've never, ever, 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 ever seen him in this much pain. It's like the roof of his mouth, he's saying, is hurting 
terribly. He even said himself, this is like the worst pain, one of the worst pains he's ever felt. You know, it's nothing that like went wrong. It's just people usually have pain meds. And so now he's not caring if he's allergic or not. And we're trying to get him some medicine, but he just had to go to the bathroom. I feel so bad. He was totally fine because he was still numb. Um, but now the numbing has worn off. So we're trying to drive back as fast as and safely as we can. It's an hour and a half drive. So hopefully it goes away soon. We just got back and poor thing, he went straight to bed. And I think on the instructions it said that I have to wake him up every 30 minutes because if not, like he has to wake up and sit up or something. So I feel bad though, because when he's asleep, he obviously doesn't feel pain. So I wish he could stay asleep, but, but luckily we were able to get him some medicine. So he should be able to take that in like 20 minutes once um, we can pick it up. So hopefully that'll help him and he'll feel better. But I'm gonna go ahead and make some dinner. I'm not sure since it's like his mouth that's hurting, I'm not sure if he's gonna wanna eat, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it just in case he's hungry when he gets up. Okay, he's awake. Are you okay? I came out too strong. You thought you were you were too confident that you were okay. I was way too confident. That's what I get for being <laughs> the pride will fall. The humble shall be exalted. Well you didn't know. You were just feeling good. Okay. Okay. So we're alive. <laughs> Guys, for a second in the car, the numbing medicine that they had used, like when I came out of surgery, I was like, shoot, I'm <laughs> chilling. Like, I'm fine. I don't feel nothing. But then, about 10 minutes into that car ride, Literally like 10 minutes, dude, right after we put down the camera. Dude, I've gotten 14 staples in my head before without any numbing medicine. I've had knee surgery, like I've had all these surgeries. That was pretty tough, <laughs> but. Ta here, here, this is Taylor. Taylor was freaking out. Like it was like he was trapped in the car because he was like just dude, moving, I'm couldn't sit still, like freaking out. I think out. that's like a human it was instinct sad. when you like have a lot of pain, like you just can't, like I could not stand still. And then on top of that, like I just get mad Screaming. when I'm mad. Yeah, I mean, you seem to I mad. get mad when I'm hurting. <laughs> yeah. Like. Ooh, that was pain. But it's gonna be worth it. Don't even worry. And you took a nap and now you feel better. And we got a medicine. Oh, yeah, the doctor prescribed me medicine. Um, but technically I'm allergic to this medicine. So um, we got just Benadryl some, yeah. because it, this medicine, I've had it before, it'll make me itch really bad. But I, right now I don't need it. Like I think I I think I might have just been being a baby or something because <laughs> No, it I'm chilling. I right know now. you were hurting. And we gotta do this nasal spray like every day starting tomorrow, right? Yeah. It'll all be worth it in the end. It's one yeah. of those things that like, you just gotta push through. Cause yeah. like honestly, my sin that was probably on a scale one to 10 of pain, I'd say like a eight. And my sinus headaches are like a five to six. And I get sinus headaches all the time. So it's like- Do this one yeah, time. Yeah, can not I just suffer really bad for <laughs> a second and then not, not get sinus headaches anymore? Yeah. But yeah, that's why we kinda didn't film earlier, like going to the surgery. We thought like, oh, since he's not gonna get drugged up, you know, like, is it even gonna be funny or interesting? But things took a turn and... For the worst. <laughs> All right, it's the next day. I'm chilling. Now I'm actually chilling. No pain. I'm a beast. You sound good. I didn't even take the pain medicine. You were bleeding a lot last night, though. Yeah, yeah, I woke up and there was blood everywhere, but that's just <laughs> part of it. You know, name of the game. Yeah. Uh, that's what happens when you like get your nose worked on like this. And he felt so good, he literally went and got us lunch. Like how sweet. You just had surgery and you went and got us lunch. King type stuff right there, king type stuff. <laughs> okay, but I pulled out the camera because I'm literally dying laughing. Taylor just went I'm to chick play. Sure right. Taylor just went to chick play. This is the story he just came back and told me. And if you're this girl, this is very sweet and weird. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> okay, so what happened? I'm pretty sure. Okay. She said, she said, you're from TikTok. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and she was like, a lot more words were exchanged, but she was like, oh my gosh, my mom's friend <laughs> delivered y'all's baby. <laughs> and I was like, really? Oh my gosh. Small world. <laughs> he went along with it. What do you say? He said, oh my gosh. You say, oh wait, my wife's and still she said, How's the baby? So I'm pretty sure I heard that right. Maybe I, it's possible I heard her wrong and maybe like... Her mom's like a nurse or something? Yeah, yeah. Or like saw you at the hospital or something. That's also very, very possible. Are you on medicine? But I'm pretty sure she said deliver the baby. And it sure didn't seem like it after that. And I was like, well... <laughs> he went along with it! What did you say? I don't 
know, but our baby's not delivered yet. Not yet. But we still got two months. But she could deliver the baby. She did. Well, hook us up no, I have my midwife's delivering baby. Unless she does C sections, and I have to have a possible C section. She did hook us up with these wraps, though. So she is. Yeah. She is a queen for that. We're eating the cool wraps from Chick Fil A munchies. So long story short, we made it. We made it, brother. We made it through the surgery, and so we're about to go get on an Instagram live with Maddie Pruitt for her new That's book. not her name. She got married, brother. Oh, technically Maddie Pruitt Trout. Madison. <laughs> Seriously though, we're about to go on live with Maddie to talk about her book and what's oh, our topic? It's Madison. <laughs> and it's red flags. Our topic is gonna be how to spot red flags. And I just read the chapter in the book talking about that and it's so good. Like I was like, I don't even know what to say because you just hit everything spot on. But it's called The Love Everybody Wants. It just came out. Um, so you should totally go get it. But other than that, King type stuff with the surgery. Surgery ain't nothing. Except for when you almost Except for when away. I was like feeling death. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe. Guys, every single one of you that subscribes right now, I'm gonna personally give a hug to. But anyways, <laughs> we love you guys. We love Jesus. We'll catch you in the next vid. Taylor and Soap, out. And yes, I'm in the same outfit as yesterday. You know, when you're pregnant, only like five things fit. So don't even say anything about that. Yeah. <laughs>